You can take Melissa Barrera out of scream, but you can't take the screams out of Melissa Barrera. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment. She might have been sacked from Scream. She might have been let go because of her fuse on the ongoing wars. But she's not leaving the horror genre because it turns out, despite Barrera's Scream days being over, her horror days are just beginning as she has been revealed in the new horror comedy called Your Monster and is set to make its debut at the upcoming Sundance Film Festival. So the story for Your Monster is as follows, quote, after her life falls apart, soft-spoken actress Laura Franco finds her voice again when she meets a terrifying yet weirdly charming monster living in her closet, end of quote. Now there has been images released for this movie and you know what, we'll maybe check it out. It looks not bad. I guess it's a horror comedy. Finding a monster in your closet. It's not really what you want to find when you open your closet. It's you... not, but is this a kid's movie? Because it sounds kind of... No, it's an adult horror movie. Normally you want to find, I don't know, clothes or even better yet, big bags of money. But I guess in this scenario, you open the door, you open the, the closet door and, and you're going to find um, a monster. Now, will Melissa Barrera be playing a monster in this film? We don't know. She's not the main actress, though. The main actress is Laura Franco. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. But it is going to come out. It's based on uh, a short film in 2019 as well. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Although, the one thing I did want to say is I don't like to see anybody be cancelled or lose their job over political views. And I mean that whether they lean to the left or lean to the right. Because I feel like in, in the past, it's been people with, like, right wing fuse have lost their job and I, I've never liked that and I've always spoken about that so you know what I, I will say the same for Melissa Barrera as well I, I don't think she deserved to be released from the Scream franchise because of her fuse on the Israel-Palestine war I don't think your fuse on any of that stuff should cause you to lose income or, or, or lose you know employment or it lose definitely opportunities shouldn't, but if you actually look at it the Democrats are very Israel leaning and, you know, most leaders in Western countries are Israel-leaning, so therefore it's actually more of a far-right thing, I think, to be on the uh, Palestinian side. I'm going to completely disagree with that, because when Donald Trump was in office, all he did was talk about, you know, helping Israel and I keeping know, but the... so, yeah, but so is Biden. No, I know, I, I think yeah, it's just... They're all, they, they are, they're, that's probably the one thing they can all uh, agree on. Oh, like, well, my point is, I don't think it's right. No, it's, no, I, you know, we love actors, you know, Ron Perlman biggest anti-Trump man there is. Yeah, just because someone's like pro-Biden or anti-Trump or whatnot, I don't think they should lose a job or, or lose work. It's bullshit, okay? Everyone's allowed their opinion. If Melissa Barrera thinks that, uh, you know, Israel are in the wrong and whatnot, and I think she's entitled to f share her views, and unless she's calling for, like, genocide or calling for, like, murder or things like that, then I, I I don't see the issue with it. So we're it's all a dangerous tightrope. You know we're all we're all different. We all have our own views, and I, I just think it's dangerous once we start either like blocking people or cancelling people or firing people because you know what you maybe you'll have a disagreement with that person that's been cancelled this day, but who knows, maybe the next day it'll be your fuse and it'll be your ideas and it'll be your opinions that are on the chopping block. So I think that's a very dangerous thing and I'm glad that Melissa Barrera has found work after being released from the Scream franchise. Anyway guys, that's it. Fog Entertainment. We'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.